Eduardo Babzal Neves is going to fight Michael Parkin. Eduardo Babzal Neves riding a score of 5-0, 6-1, only 22 years of age, very young gun. He destroyed five opponents in a row. He won all rank for Joao, Joao, Victor dos Santos, Marcelo Gomez, Eduardo Silva, Andre Vieira. At the Telefe, I watched both of his fights. This guy is uh, fast as lightning, thunder. I don't speak Portuguese, so I don't know what that means. But Michael Parkin, 5-0. I don't know what Bobzo means. Michael Parkin is 6 foot 3, and he's fighting out of. Uh, England, he is a really, really powerful fighter. Parkin is also a guy who likes to go for a stoppage by any means necessary. And we've seen him like Fatih Tas, Ashley Pollard, Simon Sinkiewicz, Jan Lisa, Tomasz Vajczkas. Even in kickboxing he is doing the same. I watched his fight against Simon Sinkiewicz and Simon Sinkiewicz used to be a guest of mine. Also, Simon competed at Cage Warriors recently where he lost, but it's never easy to knock him out cold so easily. I'm telling you, this guy, Michael Parkin, he's a young gun, he's a hungry kid, and 26 years of age, and people are gonna say, oh, look, he looks a bit fat, it is he, believe me, do not, just do not judge the book by its cover. Many people, when they see, like, a fat guy, they say, like, oh, look at this guy, he's fat, I'm going, no, you're not, believe me, you're not, for example, Nate Diaz. Ned Diaz looks like a regular guy in the street. You would say, okay, maybe this guy is having some job, you see. These guys are the most dangerous fighters. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to say the fight will not go the distance. As, a, as an amateur fighter, Michael Parkin is also undefeated, as much as I know. And he stopped every single opponent. I think he only fought to a draw once, not sure, though, when he was amateur. The fight will not go the distance is my pick. If you, if I must pick a side, I'm gonna go with Michael Parkin. But only if I must pick a side, the fight will not go the distance.